So first of all, Ben, if you can, in a sentence, please explain Colossal's mission. Yeah, so Colossal is the world's first de-extinction and species preservation company. And our goal is to bring back some of these iconic species, rewild them that have been lost to time, uh, to extinction, rewild them back into their natural habitats, uh, as well as leveraging those technologies that we build on the path to de-extinction to conservation and make all those technologies available for the world. Tell me honestly, Ben, did you take any inspiration from Jurassic Park? You know, we believe it or not, we have heard the Jurassic uh, Park questions uh, a time or two. I, I don't think I can get away from it ever. I mean, look, Jurassic Park was an amazing movie. It got people very excited about a lot of things. It was a dystopian movie, right? Um, but one of the things it did right was it did educate the world that there's this thing called genetic engineering. And it's really powerful. And we have these incredible tools that we can actually go in and actually manipulate genomes, right? And so that's one of the great things it did. You know, uh, I, I don't think that in Jurassic Park, they were really focused on conservation like Colossal is. Um, I don't, I think that they had alternative uh, motives. And and, um, and unfortunately, you know, we get this question a lot. It, uh, it isn't possible to bring back a dinosaur. So, you know, I don't think that we were, um, inspired by Jurassic Park. One funny note, though, to that question, uh, Jurassic, in Michael Crichton's original Jurassic Park, there's a DNA sequence. Uh, that sequence uh, is the same as George Church's from his original research. And so I would argue, if anything, George Church's work inspired Jurassic Park, not the other way around.